clearance uh, that got behind uh, Turner. But yeah, Shaq Moore, I, I saw him put his hand up more times saying my bad than actual passes he completed. Uh, Haji Wright wasn't really oh. pressing enough for me, getting on the ball. He had an opportunity late in the game, looked like he hit it with his heel. Uh, you you got to be more dangerous uh, if you're going to be in the game. Um, if you're Jesus Ferreira, you're probably thinking, what, what do I got to do to get in this team? Well, he may have that opportunity Saturday against the Netherlands. You see the Iran staff conferring with the officials. They were uh, working in soccer. We like to call it the dark art. Sometimes they were doing whatever they could to try and extract something out of the U.S. So many times we almost thought there could have been a penalty on the U.S. Walker Zimmerman coming in off the bench. So the U.S. moves on to the round of 16. The ghosts of Cuba have been expelled. And now the U.S. gets set for a fourth game here at the World Cup. But it came at a cost. Christian Pulisic, Josh Sargent. We're going to have to wait on the reports on those two. But early indications are we're going to be awfully fortunate if we get to see them play on Saturday. Yeah, and, and it's a shame because... Soccer legend Brian McBride having an embrace right there. He's part of the U.S. Soccer Federation right now. The U.S. in a must-win situation. And they got that must win. Still just two goals scored here. But guess what? They were enough. Hey, to they earn. won. They won. They, were they, they won by one goal. So enough we, to earn the U.S. Whew. those five points. Greg Berhalter standing by right now with our Jenny Taft. Greg, the stakes could not have been higher. You are moving on at a World Cup. How proud are you of your guys and their ability to get it done? Proud. I think that, you know, the first half we showed what we can do soccer-wise. Um, had, had a really good first half. Second half, we show what we can do determination-wise. The guys grinded. They gave every single ounce of energy, and we're undefeated going into the next round. Christian Pulisic has been waiting for his World Cup moment, yeah. literally put his body on the line for that goal. Any update on his status and just what he means to this team? No update uh, on his status, but, you know, I've been saying all along, it, it's a wonderful thing when you're, one of your best players is also one of the hardest working, and he's certainly that. Um, you know, I can't say enough positive things about Christian. How would you describe the final minutes of play? It felt like there was a lot of extra time there. Yeah, I mean, with this new injury time, counting every second, it's it's stressful. I think I have less hair on my head now. But um, we'll, we'll take it and we'll move on and, and go battle Holland. Enjoy it. Thanks, Greg. Thank you. We're going to have to set a team with a game plan that says this team will have more of the football than we have because they've got better players and are more experienced than us. So he can do that, he can set out a game plan where these players will be happy to go in against the Dutch and, 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 and play it and use it. And I think that, that might help them because they know they don't have to chase that game. So knockout competition, it's a one-off, you know, and, and the Dutch will know that. One mistake, they could be have, gone. Have we seen enough from, from the Dutch to, to make this result a foregone conclusion. Are, are we have, have we been that impressed by Holland to say they will beat America no, categorically? No, no, I haven't. I think he's no. compromised I a haven't. lot of, of, of I mean, I've, Holland is, is <clears throat> it's one of the World Cup teams that I, well, the first time I ever saw a World Cup was 1974. Mm -hmm. uh, and they played this, they, they, they call it total football. Mm -hmm. Very much what everyone's doing today. They played it back then. And it was interesting to watch. And As a yeah. country in soccer, in now hosting uh, the next World Cup, I think it's good if we stay in the tournament, we can show we have a young group. And um, yeah, now the next game against Holland, I think people will be excited for that one. And we're just learning. We're taking step by step and um, we're excited for the, the World Cup at home. Yeah, I, I, would, would Holland, would the Dutch and the Netherlands hold, should the, the US have any fears about that? <laughs> They're much more experienced. They've, uh, I think they've got, Holland's got better players in the sense that they are players who can make a difference in the game. If it's, uh, I'm a little bit disappointed with the second half today. They, I don't know if they were pushed back or they deliberately went back to protect 1-0, but I thought they were cutting it very, very fine. Um, and you, I'm not sure you can do that against Holland. It's game on again. Depression after a nil-nil in the last game. Three-nil tonight, and it's winnable. This is what uh, John Terry's been telling our Arabic colleagues tonight. Yeah, it was much better the second half, wasn't it? A bit more free-flowing from us, which is what, which is what how how and what I want to see this team. We have so much quality, like I said uh, before the game and at half time. It was important that we got fresh players on the pitch. I thought it was better that we made three substitutions at once. Walker, who needed the minutes to play, 
Uh, Kane comes off and other players go on and Rashford scores two goals, Foden comes on, uh, Foden starts the game tonight which was a real positive and uh, I said before the tournament I think Phil could be uh, a big big player for, for us in this, in this World Cup and it causes now the manager problems. It'll be interesting to see his next team, uh, the lineup when we play Senegal um, because the players have given the manager a problem. When you've got such a good group of players it's important to know that Harry Kane if you're not playing well there's other players that will come in. Rashford can come and replace you. If Phil Foden, you're not playing well, you will be replaced. If Mason Mount doesn't play well, you will be replaced. And I think when you have that competitiveness within the group, it's also great as well because these players now feel part of it.